in 1960, Harry Belafonte became the first African American to ever win an Emmy for his variety special Tonight with Belafonte. I think we should use our platform and just to help to influence people and enlighten people about who we are and what we are about and what we can achieve and let them feel inspired by that. I remember the last big sale. We lost $50 and gained 11 pounds. <laughs> Moving on up to 1981, Isabel Sanford's iconic role in The Jeffersons won her the Emmy for Outstanding Actress in a Comedy, making her the first African-American woman to win in the category. It was a joy and a shock. Listen, Doc, I need my dosage. I've given five years, $80,000 in my freedom for this. I'm finally who I'm supposed to be. Fast forward to 2014. Laverne Cox's performance in the popular Netflix series Orange is the New Black made her the first transgender person to ever be nominated for an Emmy. I hope that it inspires a lot of other trans actors to pursue their dreams and know that their dreams are possible. The following year, Viola Davis made history as the first woman of color to win in the Best Actress in a Drama Series category for her role in How to Get Away with Murder. You know, we put our work out there as women of color constantly for so many years and uh, it's our time. Jumping in time to 2017, Donald Glover took home an Emmy for Best Director in a Comedy Series for his hit show, Atlanta. We were just saying this the other day. The, the quality the of, of theater, theater is just, just, not there it's just not there anymore. It's just not there. The win made history by making Donald the first African American to win an Emmy in that category. I always wanted to just make good things. Like that's all that's important to me. I'm like, quality is for the people. I try, we, we always talk about it in Atlanta's writer's room, just make something quality and hopefully people, so I, I never, yeah, I never thought about it in those terms. I just want to make something good. That same year, Lena Waithe became the first African-American woman to win an Emmy for comedy writing for Masters of Nuns Thanksgiving episode. Do you understand the history you made tonight? You know what, I do, I do. I think I'm very aware of how important this win was. Because um, it's not just about me, it's about all these amazing women of color who are phenomenal writers. Two lead actors also made history that year. Sterling K. Brown won the Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series for his role as Randall Pearson on This Is Us. Who the hell is My not? name is Randall Pearson. I'm your biological son. Making him the first African American to earn the award in that category in nearly 20 years. This is... Historical. It's been 19 years since a brother brought home this particular piece yeah. of hardware. Andre Brown. Andre Brown in 1998. And so to be the next one, I, I, I'm almost at a loss for words. And when Riz Ahmed won an Emmy for his lead role in the limited series The Night Of, he became the first actor of Asian descent to win an acting category ever. Yes, in 2017. Have you digested what happened? What just happened? It's, it's just digesting slowly now. Yeah, it's quite a crazy thing. And the very next year in 2018, Sandra Oh's performance in Killing Eve earned her an Emmy nod for lead actress in a drama series. That's the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can't. I can. <laughs> it made her the first woman of Asian descent to be nominated in the category. It may come, it may not. But the thing, just being here is, I will say, is the thing. The win did not come that year for Sandra, but while we are talking about making history at the Emmys, we have to talk about Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Who do you think you are? Gary Antoinette? Did somebody make you first lady? Because I don't remember marrying you, Gary. Julia took home six Emmy Awards for her performance as President Selena Meyer in Veep, the most awards anyone has ever won for a single role. You said I was going to jinx you by saying you're going to win six in a row, and now look. Yeah, because I knocked on wood. Did you? Is that what saying? Yeah. Oh, so you knocked on wood, or you? See, you tried to screw me, but I wouldn't let you. <laughs>